All right, we're gonna talk about the Deadpool raids, and it looks like there's some good and bad on it. The good is that it's no longer a Mega Orb raid. It's no longer two hours, but the raid rewards are just terrible. My goodness. This is just horrible rewards right here. Um, this is significantly less than what it was before, like huge. Uh, like 10% of what we got before. Uh, yeah, tier one, tier two is better. Before they had mega orbs and you had to get 100% in two hours, which was terrible. But there are so many other changes to this raid. So it's kind of hard to wrap my head around it. Now, there is going to be an even harder raid. And I don't know what it's called. Uh, El Scorcho, I believe, which is going to be the one that's tuned for 65 and higher. And so, for me, the jury's out until I see the rewards for that. But still, I don't understand. I'm going to get one orb every four raids or so. And I need 250 more to go from six to seven stars. That is forever. Uh, what that? <laughs> I mean, that'll take like a year unless we get significantly better rewards. Now, I also want to talk about, yes... There is a, a notes right here, but there was like hidden messages in here. It says Deadpool raids have returned. These special raids are back for a limited time, but with a twist. Battling in Deadpool raids will reward your alliance with Deadpool orb fragments. Barely any. Uh, four raids to get one Deadpool orb? Okay. Updated reward structure. Deadpool orb fragments been added in place of mega orb fragments for all rank and tier rewards. So, in the past, if you were getting 60% on this raid, you were getting mega orbs. Now you can get Deadpool, and I, and I think that's good for a large percentage of the people. But the amount is so low, it's going to take forever. Now, I like this. Increased drop rate. Deadpool orbs are now drop nearly double the shards. Cool. This is a godsend right here. Two hours to 12 hours. That was just going to break the back of this game. Two hour raids is horrible. Reverted to default timer. And then it says added spicy and in fuego boss nodes. You see, it talks about trait requirements. Now that is code for city villains. We're going to look at what that is. And I haven't got to play that, but a lot of people are not happy with that. And I understand that. Ah, boy. I don't know. So it can't be heroes. So who's that going to be? Kingpin, Electra, and it looks like most of the hand right here. All right. I can make do with that. We'll see how hard that is. But boy, that's just an extra layer of making us to get all the characters in the game. I think that is their intention is that we're going to have to have all characters in to do something. Now, the biggest controversy in the game right now is Cree. And look at this ridiculous offer. My goodness, 100 US dollars for 50? That won't even help me. If you look at this right here, uh, yeah, I've got basically, out of the Cree minions, you're gonna need five five-star Cree minions to unlock Nick Fury. Now, I've got one there at six stars, one at four stars, one at four stars, one at five stars, one at three stars. 50 shards on the Kree Cyborg and the Kree Reaper would do nothing. Never mind that it's $100! $100 on a cell phone game! The Nick Fury's good. If you haven't seen my videos up here in the top right-hand corner, uh, I have a test account, and that... Definitely helps. Now, I do want to read about the, the Kree thing. It says, if I have a three-star, I'll get a Mega Orb. Cool. Four-star, I'll get another Mega Orb. So, for me, having five four-star Kree minions, I'll get two Mega Orbs. And that's not so bad, because I think those are like 30-ish dollars a piece. It'll be awesome, so I can pull some Ronin, some Iron Fist. Yay. No, I'll take it. Those are pretty good Orbs. 50 to 100 Orbs. And the other thing I want to talk about is my phone does not work right now. There is something wrong with the game. It's been broken for about 24 hours. Uh, the developers have been really good about posting on Reddit on what's going, but the game is not working at all for me. Uh, well, it works, but it's glitched out. I can't see what the nodes are. And if I didn't have an emulator to play on my PC, I would be out of luck. So um, 
Ironically, now I'm running three emulators on my computer. Mimu, which is right here because on my Nox does not work for this game for some reason. And Bluestacks, I have loaded the test account. So I had to download a third emulator. Uh, I would suggest looking into an emulator if you don't already use it. It allows you to play on your PC. I'm sponsored by Bluestacks. Link is down in the description. Help support this channel, but uh, I hope the patch to fix it on the phone comes out soon because I can't play on my phone. I can't see where the rewards, it's all glitched out and it's terrible. So I'm going to reserve judgment on this uh, Deadpool saga. Uh, but frankly, for me, these rewards right here are trash. They're terrible. Do not like them. Uh, yes, I'm happy for the tier one and tier two people that they're no longer getting Mega Orbs, now they're gonna be able to get Deadpool. I think that's a step in the right direction, but I'm not sure why they had to significantly and drastically nerf the rewards for everybody that was finishing this. Uh, and that when the next tier comes out, if the rewards are be are, have to be quite a bit better, uh, because they just have to be better because it's, it's, it's terrible to step backwards. Um, I watched Seton's video He's hysterical, highly recommend his channel, and I totally feel the way he does. Uh, but I'm gonna wait until this um, El Scorcho. I actually had a chimichanga last night. It was pretty delicious. It was like a croissant with chicken and cheese. Oof, so good. I love Southern California Mexican food. It's amazing. I'm sure there's good Mexican food in Texas too, but Southern California Mexican food. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming.